Uh, now, a side effect of the Reformation is also the profound effect that it had on science. Yes, Stephen Snobelin, as he's, he's assistant professor of history of science and technology at University of King's College in Halifax, Canada. He calls it a paradox. Another paradox. And, yeah, and, and, and also, he also explains the somewhat misleading term literal interpretation. He writes, here is a final paradox. Recent work on early modern science has demonstrated a direct and positive, he says, relationship between the resurgence of the Hebraic literal exegesis of the Bible in the Protestant Reformation and the rise of the empirical method in modern science. He's making a connection here. I'm not referring to wooden literalism, but the sophisticated literal historical hermeneutics that Martin Luther and others, including Newton, championed. And he goes on to explain the link. It's because scientists started to study nature in the same way they studied the Bible. Right. The idea with scripture was, just let the Bible speak. Don't impose allegory or metaphor on the text. Just take it straightforwardly. Mm -hmm. He writes, It was in part when this method was transferred to science, when students of nature moved on from studying nature as symbols, allegories, and metaphors, to observing nature directly in an inductive and empirical way, that modern science was born. In this, Newton also played a pivotal role. Mm. As strange as it may sound, Science will forever be in the debt of, get this, biblical <laughs> literalists. That's, it. That's a quote. <laughs> so, I mean, even non-Christian historians of science recognize the value that taking the Bible as it's written, in other words, literally, has had on science. <laughs> 